to help you get comfortable in the gym. That's the goal because I know there's a lot of content out there where, you know, a lot of people are showing really cool moves but not really breaking down how to get to that level of athleticism. My goal is to help, you know, the general population feel comfortable doing the basic exercises to build a foundation and then, you know, take it from there. small percentage of people who are you know elite athletes um, but the general population um, is not comfortable in the gym and you know they don't necessarily know how to go through a proper workout or how to look for certain contractions so that's all I care about I care about making an impact that's the goal I want to do that as long as I can I love back day because I like to be able to see my back from the front I think uh, since I'm not very tall, you gotta be wide. Some type of presence. Gotta log it every time. Make sure I'm going harder than last time. It's one of the biggest things that I've noticed is um, the times I've seen the most progress are the times that I'm following a plan, tracking everything, and trying to get a little bit better each and every workout. Whether that's more reps, more weight, more time under tension, better control. Track your workouts if you want to see progress. Doing random stuff every time, you're going to get random results. But if you have structure, you're going to get predictable results. I'll start with you know, that cable pull over just to like connect my whole back. Um, just connecting all the way from the scapula all the way down to the lower lat. Um, just go really slow and then progress up in weight and then uh, do these heavy lat pull downs. I'm going to do a uh, reverse pyramid today. So start heavy, low reps, lower the load, and increase the reps. So. People always say like, oh, how do you stay motivated? And some people say, oh, you gotta take discipline, but it's also fun to make up reasons to be motivated. So in my last show, I actually, uh, I found somebody who was competing and I just made up a story that he was like talking shit. I never even knew the guy. He's a really nice guy once I met him, but I just made up stories because I knew he was gonna be my number one competition. So that kept me like in the game. Little mind games that I gotta play to stay, to stay tight and on point. Because it's about progress. If it was about, you know, abs and striations, I would have stopped a while ago. But it's just always about getting better each and every day. And whatever I can do to talk myself into going a little bit harder, I'm going to do it. So this, I'm um, working on just getting a contraction in my upper mid back. So, target is uh, 15 reps, um, 12 to 15 reps. But um, I've had a lot of trouble um, with my upper back because I got in an accident a few months ago, so just reconnecting with it. So I'm really just focused on, focusing on accelerating the motion with my <laughs> scapula, instead of just curling it, essentially, so working on finding that right motion pad and um, just getting that optimal contraction. So that's what we're working on. So like a good workout to me is like really good contraction. So there's some workouts where I feel like, 
you know, I might be like just throwing the weight around. And there's other times when my muscles are actually like moving the weight. Um, so as long as like I feel like my muscles are just contracting and expanding, contracting and lengthening, getting really good blood flow, um, getting like a, a burn, that's what I like. That's what I like. And then of course the pump is nice too. The pump looks good. I always like a good pump. It's always fun. But the crazy thing is, I'll never be as big as my pump. Trying to put on as much size as possible, man. It's hard, like, because I want to, like, overtrain and keep going, but I hit every muscle group twice a week, so. Some sessions I just want to like keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding, but got to stick to the plan. Got to stick to the plan. Um, and just continue to see improvements. It's kind of cool because I'm actually getting bigger and leaner in the off season. So this next upcoming prep towards the end of the year, as long as we can limit the body fat that we put on, it should be a pretty smooth prep. Predictable. We want to be able to come in predictable. So that's the biggest thing, not leaving anything up to chance.